What do you get in this game with all those settings? Star Citizen. What? Oh. FPS. Uh, I get a pretty constant 60, to be honest. It does get jumpy at times. But it'll be <clears throat> oh, that's not important. So I heard you were having FPS issues in Star Citizen. So fortunately for you, since you can't update that toaster or a PC of yours, and if you have a graphics card from NVIDIA, <clears throat> and I mean, is there uh, really any other kind of card out there? So if you haven't destroyed your computer yet, let's begin. Follow along, mimic the settings we'll be providing, but first step before changing anything, you should update to the latest NVIDIA drivers as all of these settings will be reset once you update your drivers. Do that beforehand and make sure you jot down these settings so once you update again, go in, change them. Some in-game graphics tweaks you can do before starting are changing to your native resolution or reduce the resolution and use image scaling to your advantage, which I will explain later on in the video. For the base graphics settings, if you're using a strong GPU, select high graphics. If you're using a strong CPU, select the lower of the settings. Turn off motion blur, turn off V-Sync, and put chromatic aberration and film grain to zero. You will not notice any significant frame increase with those last few settings, but they will increase picture clarity. Now for the main event of the video, find NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure use the advanced 3D image settings is selected. Go to manage 3D settings and we will be doing changes under the global settings tab. I will also have all the settings listed in the video description and if you want a better explanation for all the settings that we are changing in the video, I have linked an article in the description for an in-depth guide. Before I continue, I want to explain the image scaling setting. This will basically generate five new resolutions based on your native monitor resolution that you can select in your games. This is for any game that you play and NVIDIA will then automatically scale the smaller resolution to your native one and sharpen the image to keep the image quality. So turn it on and I recommend changing the sharpening to something like 20 as it can make the image look worse, but you can play around with the setting and find your preference. You can also use GeForce Experience to change the setting without going through the control panel. Open up GeForce Experience, go into the settings cog wheel and scroll down to image scaling. Turn it on, select the preferred resolution and all you have to do to change is go into your game and change the resolution to the one you selected in GeForce Experience. Image scaling is just a simple NVIDIA DLSS for games that do not support it. Also, if the game does not support DLSS, NVIDIA will prioritize that over image scaling. Okay, so just follow along in the video to get the rest of the settings or check the video description and hopefully next time you launch, you will have a few more glorious frames. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.